What's up, Gravelers? We're here at the top of Braintree Hill at the Braintree Meeting House for the circus ride. We're here at the Braintree Circus Ride this morning, hanging out with the Catamount up here at the Braintree Meeting House, getting ready for a beautiful fall ride. This time of year, in the past, they've done the 357. This year, the circus ride is bringing back a mountain bike route from the 90s that at one point was said to be one of the top 10 mountain bike routes in the country. This route's called the circus ride because in the early 1900s, elephants would actually pull the circus carts up one of these gaps and then get behind it and slowly lower it down on the other. We're gonna ride part of the same route they would take. Well, there's the map. I'm gonna bring it because even though I have GPS, I don't know that I fully trust GPS in this whole area. You ready? Woo! I'm ready. See you on the other side, gravelers. Have fun. We're coming down the dirt road. Winterberry is easy to go right by. Look for a big metal tractor sitting on the right in the in the grass, like right there. That's the turn to Winterberry. Half the metal tractor <laughs> up and over. We are getting ready for the circus ride. The bell's ringing. That's like the shotgun start. We're ready to go. thinning out although it was a great group start for the first time in a really long while that we were able to do that it was awesome started with a pretty quick descent a nice punchy ascent it's kind of where the crowd thinned out a little bit now we're all spread all over these beautiful roads but it's unreal you can see you just have the beautiful fall colors and these lush green fields it's an overcast day, but that's kind of nice actually. So things are going really well. Way to go there. <laughs> no 
real good lines on some of this, which is pretty awesome. You're just in it, in the thick of it. The word rowdy was used to describe this ride, and that's accurate. Speaking of rowdy, uh, rowdy is a good description. I was just thinking the same thing. If you can't see it, it can't hurt you, right? Look at that. That's nice. I'll tell people you cleaned it. miles almost a thousand feet which is exactly what we expected tons of climbing i stopped at this picturesque murder cabin we're getting a little bit muddy everything's good in 0.2 miles. So I think this is right here. The fake right left. I think it's right over here, is it? Straight, I guess it's both ways. Oh yeah, right here. There's a lot of different uh, options in here. This is just what everything has been so far. It's unreal. It's like constant class four, one little gravel road, downhill, and then more class four, over and over. I'm not at all surprised that back in the 90s this was called one of the top 10 mountain bike routes in the country because this is exactly what mountain biking was at the time no dedicated trails 
just look at this well this was the line over here I mean I was just starting to mountain bike in the 90s and this is absolutely what it was like because there's just never-ending gravel awesomeness in the Randolph area and it's punchy there's a couple valleys that come together you'll climb no matter what but you can just do a shorter route the shorter doesn't mean easier today's is 38 6,000 feet of climbing I've been going the speed slightly faster than a walk for most of it yeah. it's like this the whole way through so this is a fun little adventure they pulled together for us today I got them all over. I got them all over. Yeah. Oh, okay. Nice. About 0.7 to go to the top of Braintree Gap. I don't have a whole lot to say about Braintree Gap right now. Maybe I will at the top. We're at the top of Braintree Gap. It's bad as always. Brutal after the descent. So I've come up this side, I've gone up the other side, I've gone up and down the other side, I've never gone down this side. And this is chunky. My brand new brakes are loving it. Mountain bikes definitely have a little bit of an advantage right here. 
in this descent. But I'm committed. Woo! Spicy. All done with Braintree Gap. I feel like I can talk now. The descent is always chunky, but at least you're not going up that stuff. It's a mental challenge every time for me. I don't even pretend I'm gonna clean it. And then when it's done, I'm always pretty thankful. And now we're on a nice little refreshing piece of smooth gravel. And we've done about half of our climbing. And we've done a little less than half our miles. We're at almost 15 miles. Look at those views. Gorgeous out today. Peak foliage, peak fall colors, beautiful cemeteries. All around nice. Oh, here's the gate. Well, hey, this is absolutely no joke. This is the trail up Mount Cushman, taking us back towards Braintree and Randolph. This is after almost 4,000 feet of climbing. And this will bring us to the high point or the last high point of the ride. This is an awesome route, but not for the faint of heart. Passing the Randolph Gap Trail, which is closed for hunting. So we just go straight up the right of way, rather than messing around over there. 
So this is where the circus went. That's a robust circus. Because we're still going up. I would love to be in a circus wagon right now. Getting pulled up this. And we're at mile 22 and a half or so. And at mile 25 or so, we were promised grilled PBJs. And that might just be the inspiration I need to get the rest of this thing under my belt. I think I'm at the top. This thing is all there. Fair enough gap is all there. Another one of these descents. I am not an elephant. Fabulous PBJ grilled and melted. It's probably all over my face at the rest stop. And now we're right back at it immediately after. So this ride is like 95% class four or worse. So we're at about 25 miles and 4,500 feet of climbing. Ooh, ooh, ooh. road we're on is called Town Highway 9. Always a good sign and I can't believe that there's any class 4 left. Usually if you've hit this much you're done or you rode 500 miles. This is just one after the other. Pretty amazing. So there's Sagecoach Road. Can't tell how steep it is. It's steep. So this, the cool, punishing nature of this ride just continues. I mean, I'm used to long rides at this point mileage wise, heavy elevation, but this is next level. Honestly, I mean, I've never ridden less than 40 miles and felt the way my legs feel right now. I feel like the stats sheet though doesn't do it justice because you're getting punished going up, you're getting punished going down. It's really quite sadistic. The original creators of this route really pulled something special together. Zach did something special by bringing it back, but I would put this on legendary must-do ride lists. 
We got a moto coming up. I'm gonna sign off. We're good, we're all good. It's really nice that they have dirt bikes on course checking on you, seeing if you need anything, encouraging you, telling you you're almost there and you can do it if they need to. If you haven't picked up on it, this ride mostly goes up. And if you're going down, it's just so that you can go up. How nice that looks. That's beautiful right there. Unreal. So we're getting pretty close. This has been just epic amounts of climbing. Superb views, great foliage. It's an amazing event. I'm smoked, but it's awesome. Now we're up on top of the hill and it's flat wouldn't be the word but not as hilly to the finish which is exciting at this point in the day and in the ride to think that circus wagons did portions of this is wild. I made it to Braintree Hill. I'm drinking a delicious Bent Hill beer. Listening to some reggae, having some good food. That was by far the most elevation I've ridden in the least number of miles. Less than 40 miles, more than 6,000 feet of elevation. Completely, brutally awesome in every single way. Definitely rowdy as described. If you like this little adventure, like it. Subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next time. Have a good one.